But we don't know about that stuff. We don't hear about that stuff because we want to be on Facebook and Twitter and whatever else on the internet. And not, and not using the internet for what we're supposed to use it for. Which is information being at our fingertips. And anything you want to know, you can just put it in Google and it'll give you 500 pages. That you can click one, two, three, four, and get all this information about your, your culture. But we're going to say that the white man stole our stuff. The white man did this to us, and the white man did that to us. Well, paper's white. i never seen a white man in my life. And if anybody could tell me that they saw a white man, like, you need to show me that dude. So in 1913, there was a man by the name of Nobu Juali. And he was born to the Cherokee tribe. Anybody heard about Cherokees? No. Before? <laughs> what, what Cherokees? Well, what, have, what have you heard about Cherokees? Cherokee is supposedly a tribe of Indians. This is for now, does, does you know this means no yeah, right. look like an Indian? Why the hell would you draw that? I didn't. What does he look like? Oh. Based on his appearance. Does he look like Indian that we see downtown with liquor drinking? He's a native Indian from a native Indian tribe. And he looks like people in here. And his purpose was to come and teach people that look like him that you're not Negro, black, colored, or Ethiopian. Because these names were given to slave, these names were given to slaves by slave masters in 1779 and lasted until 1865. But it's a new era of time now, and you have to stop calling yourself fictions. And that was in 1913. It's 2011, and nobody in here ever heard about Noble Juali in none of their black history classes. Because they want to suppress what he was coming to teach you. That you're the actual indigenous people, even of Canada. That just like you say, just like they say, nigger go back to Africa, this is your land too. And so is Australia, and so is Asia, and so is Alaska, and so is everywhere else on the planet. Because you are the first people on every geographical landmass on the planet. But if you don't know your history, you'll think that you just came from Africa. And by you claiming that you came from Africa, you're saying that you got conquered by Scipio Africanus. Which means that you're a slave, basically. And if you're a slave, you have no rights. Nobody's not going to respect you. You can't get mad when they call you nigger because that's what you are as a slave. But if you don't change, if you don't correct black history, being that you're future aces, if you don't correct black history, don't expect the slave master to do it. Because he's in possession of everything that's yours. And he's not giving it back. Unless you claim it for yourself. By knowing your history and knowing who you are. That's crucial. Suspend. That's crucial. To hang from. To cause to remain floating or hanging. To render inoperative or cause to cease. To hold in abeyance. Postpone action on. How many people in this, in this class know people who got suspended from school? I show of hands. How many of the people that got suspended look like you? By show of hands. Wow. Everything on this earth plane 
is based on two things, physical and spiritual, everything. Physically, he's just drinking the juice. <laughs> Spiritually, there's like nutrients in that that he's feeding his body. <laughs> when somebody gets suspended, remember, suspend means to hang. So why do they from use above. that term? Say that again. So why do they use that term? Why do you think they use that term? But not only black kids get suspended, though. Oh, Sophie. Come on, Sophie. Are you listening? You're not listening. You're not listening. Nah, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? But if we act like she's still supporting the Caucasian people, they could have put up their hands the same way as we put up our hands, so I don't Yeah, they, yeah, they could they could have, but we're not talking to them right now. But it's the same thing. Well, well, it's the same thing, but. It's not the same thing, because in actuality, there's only one race. It's called the human family. And there's no such thing as Caucasian people and all these different races. Everybody's a mortal. There's no division. Because if you ask National Geographic, if you ask Discovery Channel, all of them will tell you that everybody came from one lady that looked just like you, named Lucy. If you if you um go on, go on, go on YouTube and watch a lecture or a presentation or whatever called the real Eve. The real Eve. And you'll find out who Lucy is. And that was like three billion years ago. And they're saying that everybody on the planet comes from that one lady, sister, looks just like y'all. No matter if they're, or actually, what's in this book right here? A book, book from your school. Black history book. And in this book, they're telling you that the origin of races. When you get a chance, look through this book. It's in the it's in the chapter called The Origin of Races. Wow. This guy. Joseph, what do you Is he really in this class? How many people? Um how many people skip class this week? Joseph. Joseph. Um, so, guys, in it. What are you going to do? That's all good. What you're going to do is you're going to digest this. Whenever you skip class, this should be running through your mind. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Because that's happening to her for nothing now if you skip class. Because that's happening to her in order for you to be in here right now talking about black issues. That's happening to her in order for you to be on the announcement here and then tell you about your history. If you're skipping class, basically she's just hanging there for nothing. She's suspended. If you get suspended from school, she's hanging there for nothing. And that basically shows that you don't respect yourself and you don't respect your ancestors. And, and, and what they have to go through for you to be sitting in a classroom right now where there's predominantly black students. Because at one time, you be having your school outside on the lawn while Europeans would be in here getting taught by teachers. And they would take the worst European teacher that they don't like, the, the quote unquote nigger lover teacher, and they'll have that teacher outside with you on the lawn giving you class. 
at one time. So just let this digest. It's a lot to digest, but that's what happens to black people. Because black people are a fiction. They're not real. And if you're not real, anybody can do anything to you. And nobody's not going to care. They're not going to call that extreme brutality. If you're a black person, they're going to call that a civil rights violation. And they're going to have you go on the street and march and picket and then still get nothing. And police are going to shoot you up and they're going to put you on a t-shirt and you guys are going to march in the street because your brethren got shot by the police and the SIU is going to do an investigation. But because you're a black person, that's all it is. <coughs> and SIU is going to do their investigation and police are still going to get off with pay just because you're a black person. And they know that there's no such thing as black people on the planet. It doesn't exist. It's a fiction. It's like if we have two plants up here and one of them is in foam and one of them is in dirt. And I say, here, water the plants and you water the foam plant. And when the, when the plant in dirt's dying, you want to know what's wrong with it. But you keep watering the foam plant. Black people are a fiction. You don't have any rights as black people because black people are slaves and slaves are property. And this desk is property. And if I break this desk, it doesn't mean nothing. The desk can't do nothing. If I take this paper and I crumple this up and dash it like this, it doesn't mean nothing. But that's a thing. <laughs> it's not a part of the human family. Is that, is that his paper? <laughs> it means nothing. So if you want to continue to be nothing, then keep calling yourself black people. And I guarantee you that a European or somebody out there is going to kick in your ass hard enough and then all this is going to start coming back to you. Like, Damn, that's why that happened to me because I'm, they're identifying me as a black person. Or I'm acting like a black person. Let's digest some more. So this is your brother. This is your uncle. This is Mr. Lewin. Oh, man. Hanging on a tree. Because he decided to tell you about your history back in 18 something. And they were like, no, we can't have that. You can't let these, these young people know about their legacy as the founders of civilization. And they did that to him. And more than likely, that's who he was. Just, just another brother, just doing what he can do to help his race, because he can see the position that his race is in. And somebody was like, no, nah, you, you can't have that. Right? I noticed that there's children in here, right on the bottom right here. That's children right here. Like, they subjected their children to this. To watch that? To watch this. Oh, wow. So that their children can know how you deal with black people. Sure. And again, it, it, has, it has nothing to do with racism. It has to do with our stupidity. Because black people don't read. But black people like pictures, so let's watch some pictures. And a picture tells a thousand words for a reason. So if a man came in here, if everybody in here is thirsty, dying of thirst, and a man came in here and had black on this water bottle and put it down on the table, and you grabbed it, you just admitted you're a black person. Because how they were able to do this stuff is by verbal, oral contract.